Hello YouTubes, this is Grimweird coming back at you with more Enigmatica 2 Expert Mod Pack playthrough action for Minecraft 1.12.2. Um, we are running into problems with advancing in Astral Sorcery due to not having enough starlight uh, at the home base. Um, so what I've done is I've just picked our, our Celestial Altar and I've gone to um, a place in the Highlands uh, with a collector crystal, so this used to be one of the uh, generated spawns, temples. Um, and I uh, cannibalized it for its all its material and just left the uh, collector crystal here. Um, so what we're doing now is we're hoping that with that collector crystal in this location we can make it to this halfway mark and have enough to make a starlight infuser. Um, our other one stopped right in about here over at the base uh, so hopefully this table will get her done uh, with this collector crystal and I think in the future we'll be able to make our own collector crystals and uh, I just made a spectral relay which I think can also help so we're gonna try and boost the power back at the home base uh, I don't know if we're going to make it. We seem to have stalled out just a little short. Unfortunate. Well, uh, not exactly sure what we're going to do now. I guess we're going to try another crystal, another location, uh, or maybe set up this relay. Um, so apparently that can help. Um, I might move all this. Uh, fortunately with the copy paste tool I can pick all this up and move it pretty easy. So I may go someplace that's a bit flatter and more in the open um, and uh, see if we can uh, set something up there or I might look and see if there's a uh, if I can find a place, I think there was pretty dense amount of astral sorcery temples, the big ones with these collector crystals in them, um, up in the icy area up north of us. So we might be able to um, find two that are close enough together that they can help us out. Um, not sure if there was any that close, but uh, we could try. Um, the other thing I can do is try and set up this relay, um, see if we can get more juice to this bad boy. It needs to be um, I think it needs to be within 14 or I forget what it, how it works. I'm gonna read up on the uh, Astral Sorcery wiki again and see if I can figure that out. Be right back. All right, I am back. So now we've moved this stuff over here. We got a collector crystal spawn in the world. We've added a spectral relay and we've got the power. Alright, so we have a starlight infuser now. I think I'm going to see if I have the juice or the mats to actually make a uh, second celestial altar. Two reinforced slates. Alright, I do not have two reinforced slates. Alright, well hopefully Hopefully we can, uh, I'm going to try to move this back down towards, um, back to our base and see if we can live without the collector crystal. Um, now that we have the starlight infuser, in theory we can generate our own collector crystals and put them around the stuff at our base. 
so uh, I'm going to continue to play around with this and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, I am back after far too much farting around. Um, so I've made a second light well and I've got a couple things cooking here uh, because we're trying to fill up the uh, starlight infuser that we just made. So apparently it needs 12 buckets of starlight, liquid starlight in it. So I've got uh, five down and seven to go. Um, so yeah, we have had to expand our base here a bit. Um, so we've blown out the wall this direction. Um, so that went pretty quick with all the advanced building tools we have available. But it still took, you know, a good 30-40 minutes of time. Um, and part of the reason we were doing that is because I didn't realize we're going to need other structures beyond the altar here, other multi-block structures. So we got this bad boy, and I think we have might have more coming with um, Astral Sorceries, so I figured we better make more room. The other thing was is that, um, uh, as I showed earlier in the episode, this thing was not getting enough light um, to actually advance the way I wanted it to. Um, so we took it over to a collector crystal that was over at a pre-generated astral sorcery temple and even that wasn't enough so we hooked up one spectral relay to it and then it was finally enough to make the starlight infuser um, so then i brought things back over here and i figured hey you know we might as well these things aren't that expensive we might as well turn this up to 11. so from what i understand the way the relays work is that um, First of all, their, their max distance away can be is 14. So I'm assuming that's from, you know, the block, this block, um, to the relay block. Um, so that is 14 away. And the reason I made it the max distance is because um, if these guys are overlapping, um, then they're pulling in, they're competing for the same starlight. So you want to spread your relays out. Um, and unfortunately, I don't think they're completely optimized because these need to be at least 16 apart um, to not interfere with each other. So obviously the ones directly across from each other are more than 16 apart. I'm not sure on the diagonal that they are 16 apart here. But the bottom line is I'm covering a big old wide area um, and feeding them all back towards my thing. And I can tell they're working because you can see the... Uh, you can see the... Uh, uh, particle effects streaming towards the altar on all four of them. So that's a good view. You can see the purple and white particle effects streaming towards uh, the altar on all four relays. Uh, and so I just got this set up a little bit ago and uh, see already we're at 50%. So this is about what we needed to do the uh, to do the uh, astral infuser over there um, and it's still just sunset um, I'm gonna guess that we probably maxed out or near maxed out for the celestial altar with four relays but uh, we can give that a look the other thing I wanted to look at is we were trying to make celestial crystals so we threw uh, stardust into uh, liquid starlight and then followed it up with a rock crystal and it made this little structure um, but then we had to let it grow and it wasn't clear how long we needed to let it grow um, but I think that it is now as tall as the uh, blocks near it and it's also giving off the um, if we see if we do this I think with or without your resonating wand in hand you can see the little white uh, white particle effects coming off of it. So I'm going to guess that means it's done and I'm going to break it. And we'll see if we get a celestial crystal in our ME system. Right, so we broke it. And... Oh, another thing I wanted to mention real quick is um, I think at the end of last episode I was sort of excited that the rain shield prevents rain in a five chunk radius around it and it's nice and cheap to build um, and everything looked good there well it turns out that it prevents the rain effect so the rain is not drawn however the um, so it does the vid visual effect of the rain it gets rid of the visual effect of the rain but the cloudiness uh, of the rain 
still prevents you from doing things like looking at the sky with your telescope. Um, it still inhibits um, starlight to your starlight altar. Uh, so it is only a it is only a visual effect thing. Um, and it, it did not help with. Aha, we got a celestial crystal. So now we sort of know what that looks like. We know that um, we can uh, just sort of wait for it to get as tall as the block around it. And I think probably the telltale that the celestial crystal is ready to harvest is the little white particle effects coming off of it. Um, that being said, um, oh, so yeah, going back to the, the rain shield. Um, so it's good for just, you know, the video effect if you don't like the sound and visuals of the rain. Uh, but if you're actually trying to prevent uh, like the darkness effect or the blocking the sky effect or things like that, um, you probably got to get into more complex uh, weather control. So I might have to take a look at that and see if we can do that because it does rain quite a bit here in this uh, biome. So now we're fully into night and let's take a look here. Oh yeah, we got that bad boy pegged maybe, maybe one shy of pegged. Um, so we've got some starlight to work with now. So the relays are doing their trick. Uh, so that makes me very happy. Now I think that the collector crystals, um, or advanced collector crystals made out of celestial crystals, um, probably are the same effect as the relay and probably have the same rules and that you don't want to overlap them or they just get in each other's way. So if we look at um, these don't want to be searched very well. But if you look at these bad boys that you can make um, So I have a feeling these uh, follow the same rules and that, you know, if you put two on top of each other, they're just going to compete for the same starlight. You're not going to really get anywhere. All right, let's go see if we've got more uh, starlight built up. Uh, yep, and we've ran out of aquamarines, so it's going to throw some more in there. Take a bucket of this and... Uh, Gonna make more celestial crystals. Just gonna put that in there, and then we need stardust. And we need go ahead and use this one. Stardust, Rock Crystal, the Blue Particles are coming off, and we'll just leave that alone until um, probably all the way through next night, until we notice uh, that the crystal has formed and that it uh, has white particles coming off of it and looks like it's fully grown. All right, so that's probably going to be it for this episode. I think we've made some uh, serious progress on just the infrastructure. I don't know that we've actually, uh, we haven't really gotten very far in our, uh, um, this thing broke again already. We haven't gotten that far in uh, crossing things off of our Astral Sorcery quest book list, but we have, um, built up some infrastructure here, so that's good. And we're now halfway done with the uh, with the liquid starlight for our uh, starlight infuser, so that's good. I did this structure with the uh, copy-paste tool um, from Building Gadgets again. Um, this one's a little was a little weirder and harder because it has some depth to it. So um, the corner was right here, uh, but then I had to figure out how to dig a pit for it. So I ended up just actually digging the whole 7x7 seven seven pit out, um, and then that made it easier to place. So I'm still getting used to that tool, but it is helpful. 
So, uh, yeah, I think between this episode and next, um, we got, uh, we got plenty of starlight now. We should be able to build some stuff. Let's take a look at our quest book and see what we're needing to do next. Okay, we can claim the starlight infuser, so we did at least get that far. Oh, and we can claim that too. So I guess we did cross a few things off. An attunement altar. All right, so now this is what we need to do. Uh, I did some research on the constellations, and so one of the things I did while I was farting around here was I came up to the telescope and um, cycled through things again, and I was able to find uh, this guy, which I don't think I missed, which I don't think I had before. So now I've got all of the primary ones penciled out in the sky. But for these guys, I found out that uh, one of the reasons I might not be seeing those is that you have to actually attune yourself um, to the stars in some way uh, to uh, the attunement altar is used to attune crystals and yourself. So I think once we attune ourselves in the uh, attunement altar, then we will be able to uh, see the rest of the uh, constellations. So again, I have no idea when that rare one, um, Horologium or whichever one it is, is coming, but I'd like to be prepared for that. I haven't seen a solar eclipse in quite some time, but I spend a lot of time underground, so I don't know. Um, so I think I'm going to try and make this bad boy um, and get it built and see if I can attune myself so that we can look for the rest of the constellations. So, um, yeah, I'm going to pause here and see how much time we've got left. Hold on. Okay, we got some more time, so let's try and bust out uh, that uh, attunement thing. See if we can get ourselves attuned to the stars. Um, so we're going to try and make the, uh, another spectral relay here. Yay. Yeah, we got enough juice to get that done during daylight, which is nice. Um, and then, let's see, we've made that, so we can get rid of that. And we're looking for the attune thing. So this guy hit A and add that to my favorites list here until we get that made. So we need a crystal, two star metal ingots, some of the ruined marble aquamarines. We got all that. Got that on me. So I need a couple of these. And I want to pick probably a sort of a crappy uh, rock crystal. Yeah, this one's sort of mediocre. And let's see if we can bust this out. Not enough juice. Or no, I'm missing something. What am I missing? Uh, maybe not. No, we just don't, must not have enough juice. All right, well, that was a long shot anyway, so we will, uh, oops, give me my stuff back. So we will wait until night time and uh, try and bust that out and uh, what do you want to bet it has some huge multi-block structure that we got to put it in. <laughs> Hold on a second while I uh, read up on that. Alright, I am back and sure enough the attunement uh, requires some stupid huge thing. Um, so I made that and wedged it in here. Uh, this is turning into a gobbledygook mess, but uh, whatever. We'll figure it out. The good thing is it's raining and we're still pegged at maximum starlight, even in the rain, so that is nice. So we're trying to make this bad boy. And we got the juice for it now. So 
So definitely what I'm going to have to look into is uh, um, after a quick Google search, I see that, you know, a lot of people stack these things up. They have, you know, multi-level ones, um, and then they only have access to the sky above where they absolutely have to. Um, and so I need to figure that kind of stuff out. But uh, for now, let's see if we can place this and make it work. Uh, where's the center of this beast? Somewhere around here. It's hard to tell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So probably somewhere around here ish. That looks about right. Uh, I wonder how this bad boy works. Probably ought to get out the book. Attunement. That sounds promising. We made that thing, and we made that thing, the relays will start glowing as bright blue starlight streams through them, uh, the relays? you talk about oh my god I hate this manual Once everything is properly arranged, the central altar and the relays will start glowing. That's bright blue. Alright, so something must be wrong. So I didn't clean up the torches when I put this down, so there might be a hole somewhere. Uh -huh. I bet you that's a hole. if those are required or not. Do I have all the holes plugged? I think I do. Alright, well it's not night any time anymore so maybe we just need to plug a couple holes and yeah, maybe it'll work now. Uh, let's see, so this thing needed 80 of the arches. And if this is 7 per side, that would be 7 to 7 is 14 is 28. Uh, oh wait, here's probably the problem. I was filled in this as a uh, as a uh, arch and it needs to be sooty. Alright. I think we're probably good, but we won't be able to tell until nighttime. So let's see. 
I was in a hurry because I was trying to get this done before night fell and uh, so I just slapped it down without uh, removing all the torches that were in the way first and that prevented some of the blocks from being put down so I bet you there was a torch here and I filled it in with a marble arch instead of a sooty marble and that's probably why it did not work are we centered? I think we're centered Yeah, I think we're centered up, so we'll just wait until night time and see if that works. Uh, I'll be right back. Oh, hey, this looks like it might be done already. So it seems to be full height, and it's giving off white particles. Let's break it and see if we get another celestial crystal. Hey, we did. Ooh. 736 so we can get that upgrade so we got the contumbent altar and we got that we're making progress here really oh god another structure lord have mercy um, alright I can do that so we'll build that bad boy and find some place to put it. I guess we got over here. And uh, that better be the last big structure we got to build. Otherwise I'm going to have to tear everything down and figure out how to stack them. Um, let's see. Got a dragon heart. Cool. Some chicken. Alrighty. The funny thing is, is that we're doing all this, but um, I don't think we actually have to do much with Astral Sorcery. As long as we can make all the things that we need to make. Um, make all the uh, components we need for other stuff. So what else do we have? We've only got left the Ritual Pedestal. Um, and Collector Crystals, which I don't even have to put them down if we don't need them. And I do need to upgrade to the Iridescent Altar. Uh, so I need to make... That's going to have to wait until we uh, upgrade our... Um, our blood altar. Yeah, I think we're almost done with astral. So I know you can get it to give you buffs and do all sorts of neat stuff and there's probably all sorts of things I'm gonna miss with astral. And I actually sort of really like it other than that I gotta figure out you know <laughs> how to condense all of these big multi-block structures into uh, sort of one thing. I think the key thing is is that not all of this needs to see the sky so you could stack it up and just put skylights here and there above like your altar or something. But there are all sorts of things that we're not playing with here. Uh, there's tools and um, chaos resistance. We might still be damaged by chaos so uh, we might have to look at these. Resplendent Plyprism. There's all sorts of stuff in here that, uh, I guess, not that much stuff. Uh, well, this tells us sort of what the stages probably look like for um, growing the celestial crystals. So it looks like there's one, two, three, four, five stages. Um, so that's probably good to know. Yeah, I guess there isn't a ton of stuff here. Cool. That means we're uh, getting close to done. All we got to do is make the last altar um, and make a collector crystal. And uh, we are probably good to go. 
don't even probably have to uh, attune myself or find the rest of the uh, things, the uh, constellations. Although I probably will, uh, just to check it out. All right, anyway, um, let's call it an episode, and uh, I'm going to try and get the rest of this stuff together, try and make sure this thing is working, try and attune myself. Uh, in the next episode, we'll sort of close shop, probably, on Astral Sorcery, and possibly close the chapter in the quest book. Until next time, I'll talk to you later. Bye.